Okay, let's do this. What's the best EDC gun out there? Well, everybody that knows, knows it's the Glock 26, right? So, anyways, Glock 26, why is it so great? It's so great because it's just the best. I don't have to tell you about that. If you came in here, maybe you already looked, you already know the Glock 26 is the greatest, right? So, here we go. It's my favorite EDC, and I'm going to show you how to make it the best Glock 26 you can by today's standards. Can you tell where my Glock 26 is? I can sit down, I can run. Do all kinds of stuff. Can you see it in there? Make the shirt tight. Whatever. Okay. So, is it over here? Nope. That's my push tag. And over here, what we got? My cell phone. This is my ADC. And I got oh, my magazine. And it's one of those ones that's just magnetic. It's made for the Glock, so it has two magnetics. All the other ones have just one magnet. There's the ammo I use. Yes, it's just the regular Hornady. The Hornady Custom. Because I like 124 grain and the critical defense is 115 and I don't like 115. I like 124, right? The happy medium. I used to like 147 the best because it shoots the best, but mm, they have some tests to watch out there. They don't always open up all the way, right? The 124 as well. So anyways, yes. I'm cross draw. It's right over here. I forget I'm wearing it all the time. I sit down, no problem. I guess my belly's made for this gun. Maybe that's why it's the best for me. So, pull it on out. Then we will sit back down. And when I take the gun out, now this thing becomes uncomfortable because it wants to stab me. So, but I'm gonna deal with it for the length of this video. <laughs> so this is a Gen 5 Glock 26. When I got this gun, when I picked it up at Range USA, uh, probably about a year ago, as I was driving home, I was giggling like a little schoolgirl because I couldn't believe how great the trigger was. They say with Glocks, it's hit or miss, right? If you get a good trigger or not. And I've had several Glocks. I've probably had, I don't know, seven or eight Glocks, right? And this one, the trigger by far is so, I love this trigger. So I'm not going to even do the trigger upgrade. It's like 100 bucks that Glock has on this one because this one's just great to begin with. I love it. I was giggling, giggling, giggling. I love this gun. I fired a bunch of rounds through this thing and it never jams. I love it. I fired it with the 33 round magazine, the Glock 19 magazine, right? Just mag dumping it as fast as I could. Um, it's pretty accurate with this Hollow Sun EPS carry, which is probably why you came here with the video. So it's not an MOS, which is now I think becoming available over here. In the United States, I'm not sure, but I still want to want an MOS. I'd want to have it milled to fit it because this one right here from Maple Leaf Firearms in Salina, Texas, they milled my slide where even with the Glock OEM sights, it's still co-witnessed. But do I have the Glock OEM sights on here? No, I don't. Because when I went up there to pick up the gun, he said, hey, you want me to put some iron sights on there? Roll ones on there. Yeah. So he really quickly installed a Mariglow iron sights they don't have any tritium in them or anything oh by the way i don't know if you'll be able to see that but it's the uh eps carry mrs the one that has the two moa dot inside a 32 moa circle that's what i really wanted at the time i think on my next optic which will be another hollow sound i'm probably going to go with the six moa dot so but that's a different story so what's really cool about maple leaf uh Firearms is, I was trying to find somebody local where I could just take it to them instead of sending somebody to slide. I don't like trusting that and getting the insurance, all that. And I'm in Irving, Texas, and there was one that was closer in Plano, Texas. I think they're called Vortex or Vulcan, something like that. And talking to the guy on the phone who kept going back and forth with the guy, his mechanic guy or machinist or whatever, they're saying that they could not mill this to co-witness with the OEM sites, the stock lock sites. Said that I'd have to have suppressor sites because uh, otherwise it compromises the integrity. But I'd already seen some pictures on the internet of uh, where Maple Leaf Firearms had milled the site and put on the EPS carry. And <laughs> they could co witness on it. Okay. And I also found a guy in the forums. So that's who I contacted. I told him about the other place and he says, Yeah, it's not going to hurt or anything. And you can see up there, it's in there nice because it's like this is the lowest profile. Um, maybe the SES is there too, but this is an enclosed optic. And I think a lot of people say this is the lowest profile sitting down low of the of the Holosun optics. 
So this one, I did not need to suppress her sights, and I can still co-witness. I love it. Um, the only other thing I've done modifying this gun, and I don't like to change my Glocks, even though I do have some modified Glocks, but I don't carry them. Like the, well, my Glock 48 is the most modified up, and I have the S15 magazines in there, including the one as a 20. 20 rounds, five, plus five extension, and I fired the crap out of that gun, and I've never had a fail to fire, but I still am not going to trust S15 magazines. I'm going to trust Glock magazines, right? So, and that's what's cool, too, is with this, I can also do, have it already here on standby. The, oh, no, that's a Glock 43 magazine. Yeah, right here. I got a couple of these. They're Glock, so they're still OEM, plus two magazines. Nope, not Pierce extension, not anybody else that also has plus two extensions. Why are you going to get those when you can know you can get the ones that are actually made by Glock? So, which still are just as good. Your finger, pinky's going to still sit on there. It sits nice. It's OEM, it's Glock, so you can trust this one too. I've also uh, worn this one there for a while. Um, I was carrying the, the flush magazine inside here. Those those horn addies, okay? Kind of little stubby looking, 124 grains. I was carrying those in there. And then my my backup was the was the one with the uh, pinky extension, okay? Attached to this magnetic thing. So, uh, but then I went, because I didn't get the, the the uh, mag magnetic mag thing that, that was made for extension, so this thing kind of sat up a little higher. So hey, it's plus two. It's not that bad, but you know I figure it's one in chamber twenty one. I think is good enough to have ammunition, right? So, um, because I love this gun so much. The thing is, when I took this in to to get it milled, I was going to be getting married like uh, three weeks later, and they are, their turnaround time is. Better than anybody's besides the Glock store that says they'll do it in like 10 days. But I'm not going to mess with that. I buy a lot of stuff from Glock store, but I wasn't going to send my gun in to get it milled. I wanted to, you know, I wanted to take it to somebody local. But a lot of people send their stuff in and they're quite busy when I was there. You drive up, you know, if you are local and you can make an appointment with him. She likes you to come early. I think both times I went up there to drop it off and pick it up. I went like at 10 o'clock in the morning. I could have come earlier if I wanted to. And it's going to be a gate. You know, they're going to see you through a camera. They're going to open it up before you even start hitting the push pad, you know, to call them or whatever like this. They'll see you. They'll open it up. You'll drive down there. There's a, it's a ranch. There's a lot of horses out there. Saw some Appaloosas. Thought that was pretty cool, you know, a Clint Eastwood horse. Um, and then what's inside there? He had mostly had Glock slides, but he had six hour slides. And I think there was like, I counted like around 40 slides when I was up there the first time. And also, um, Gave a discount for like law enforcement and uh, military. And because I'm TSA, first responder or whatever that is, I, TSA, I, I showed him like my, because uh, I, like I get to do glove X stuff. So he gave me the discount, which is a $50 discount is what he gives military and law enforcement or TSA, first responders. So basically what it is, he gave me the, uh, the nitride finish for free, which, uh, you know, the 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 since this is the Gen Five, it has the diamond like carbon finish, which is like the best finish that Glocks have. Uh, this is the nitride on the on the um, Glock forty three. So I was expecting it was be like that, and this man, this is a lot like the diamond like carbon. I mean, it's like they do. This is a really nice nitride job they did. So I got that basically for free because of that a discount. I'm very happy with the milling. This that fits flush on here. So they say, Hollow Sun, that this is for like the full size Glocks and then the, uh, e I mean, the EPS is, but the EPS carry, which is this is, is for like the slim lines, like the Glock 43, which by the way, if you can see, it's got the same profile as the 26. That's why the 26 is so great. It's just a little bit fatter, is all. Um, Oh, this is just a great gun. I love the, the Glock 26. So, um, I did uh, the back straps. When you buy the Gen 5s, they only come with uh, two back straps, which each have the beaver tail added on them. I don't need the beaver tail. I'm not a super fat hand guy. I don't have a problem with slide bite at all. So, on the Glock site, I called them up and said, hey, because they were like, told me, because I thought they were missing when I got it. And they said, call them up and they go, oh, yeah, we don't do this anymore. We just, people don't want them. That's what they said. Oh, you better get them before they're gone. They come in all different colors. So I went ahead and just went with black and just ordered them actually directly from Glock. And I've got the, the smallest back strap you can put on here. There's two. One that sticks out a little more, which is perfect for my hand. That's the thing with the uh, 
with the Glock 43. Uh, there are no back straps, and since it's skinnier, it's, you know, uh, so I, I put a whole grip on this. And since I'm going to talk about this gun also, make sure it's nice and empty. Nice and empty. Drop the magazine. I already knew it was empty before I started. So, don't shoot the floor. Put back in there. You know, the trigger's already pulled back there. I love this little gun, too. So, um, when, I, when this was being milled, and I didn't think I was going to get it back in time, so I was prepared to take this, my Glock. 43. It's only old six rounds. And like I say, I'm not going to put extensions on there. Um, they have the pinky extension. <laughs> but it's still just six rounds, right? Come on, Glock. Can you put one in there for us? But anyways, and you can get all the fingers on there. I love the little Glock 43. So anyways, take that off. Uh, I have a Glock 48 also, and I had the 43X. The 43X if you're going to carry the 43X, I think you just may as well carry the Glock 19 because the handle's the same size. It's going to stick out just as much. Yes, yeah, a little more comfortable because it's thinner. But no, for concealed carry, the lot shorter handle this, and this shoots better too. Okay, you can't get your pinky on there, but it shoots more like a full-size gun. It's fat, a little heavier. If you look, people that have all kinds of Glocks out there, they always say they shoot the best with the... Your pinky gives you like eight plus 8% 8 grip. To the strength so it really doesn't do a whole lot anyways um anyways the glock 43 right before i was gonna go on my get married and go on my trip i dropped this gun while i was talking to my girlfriend on the phone talking to her blah 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 and i picked up this gun because this is my concealed carry and i love guns but you know it slipped out of my hand and it landed i was like man i hope that thing just hit that site that front side it looked like it did picked it up it had the um the OEM, the Glock sight, stock sight on there. And guess what? Yeah, it, it thrust the corner out. And then it, it, it's... And then the back sight also. So what I did, um, I was like, man, what am I going to do? Because I didn't think I was going to my Glock 26 back in time and I was going to be taking this to Galveston for my honeymoon, um, which I still love this gun. So I really quickly got online. I went to Ameriglow and I bought this sight. On my 43X, I got the Tritium one that had the white circle. On this one, I got the orange, which I do like a lot better. So I figured, why would I put an optic on this? Since, you know, if I'm going to put an optic on this, I may as well carry the Glock 26 on my optic, right? Which doesn't seem to really conceal any less anyways. But if I'm going to really go super, super deep conceal, see my cap back there? Um, I'm not going to put an optic on this. No. Keep this one as small as possible. But, um... So that's an iron sight, and I have ordered, I've got a bunch of Mariglow iron sights. I like this one so much that I'm replacing the these exact same sights, the exact same serial number on these ones onto my Glock 19, uh, which is an MOS Gen 5. I just have the stock sights on that because I have the Holosun SCS on it. So why am I caring about the sights on it, right? But no, I'm going to put the irons on there in case I drop it, just because... I don't know. I just, I gotta, we're gonna do it. So I'm getting these exact same sights on here for my Glock 19 MOS. It has the SES with a green reticle. This one has the red one. Um, on my 43, only thing I did was, first I just blackened out. I don't know if you can see it. I just blackened out the white horseshoe on there. And then, nah, then I went ahead and popped it out and put it in backwards. But I've got the iron one coming. Should come any day now. And I'll put it on there and they'll both be iron up there. So anyways, Maple Leaf Firearms, check them out. They're really great. They got great reviews. They do an excellent job. Very friendly. They uh, have a quick turnaround time. I told him that I you know, was wishing he could get it done in time for my wedding. And he said that uh, he'd see what he could do. And he did. He got it. He got it to me quicker than normal. I don't probably... I don't want to make anybody mad that might also be waiting and stuff like this, but he got to me uh, just a few days before my wedding. So I, I, I got this back. For my bachelor party, we went shooting guns in, in uh, Azle, Texas. And I shot the hell out of this thing. And I love this optic. And my friend Matt Beamont, he loves this optic too. He was nailing stuff like crazy with this. Um he didn't like my, on the 19, I guess he wasn't getting used to the optic at the time. He was having a hard time finding it. Um, of course, there was a lot of grass where we were shooting. It's green. 
And so he wasn't too early. I think he was maybe looking at the iron sights or plastic sights through it. And uh, but then when I let him do this one with the plus two pinky extension, he really fell in love with this gun. He loves the optic then with the red one on there. That was very helpful because, of course, you don't focus on your sights. You focus on your target and it'll just be overlaid on there. But anyways, I think this is the best concealed carry you can get. No, I'm not going to get this thing stippled. I don't think I need to get it stippled. The stippling that's on here is pretty dang good, right? Um, I did change out the... Uh, all right. Changed out the guide rod. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to break this whole gun down right here. But I, because it doesn't matter. It looks almost just the same. I have a stainless steel guide rod from the Gulf store. It is the... Um, 14 pound pull. Uh, it's pretty stiff on the regular Glock 26. It's uh, harder to rack when you have a full magazine in there. Um, yeah, you can just do to where you just do that, pop it in there, slide release on that. But uh, I wanted something racked a little easier. And the only reason I really did it, because like I say, I like to stick stock as much as possible. But Honest Outlaw, who's a, a gun YouTuber, is one of my favorite ones. Of course, Hickok's the best, right? So, um, but Honest Outlaw, I really like his reviews. Glock 26, I think, is his main carry gun, or it's one of his favorite ones. And uh, his Glock 26 is, he's had several. He always puts in a 14 pound steel um, guide rod. And then he also always fires, doesn't do the plus P's. So, I want to do the plus P's if you're doing the 14 pound, but he fires 124 grain. So I fire 124 grain. I'm kind of copying Honest Outlaw right there. Now this thing racked really super easy. And like I said, I fired with all different magazines in here. I did the 19 magazine. Did the Glock 17 magazine. Of course, I did the Glock 26, the plus two, and the regular one. And I did the uh, the 33 from the Glock 19 magazine for the automatic one. And I, I did a real quick mag dump, 33 rounds on that. Put one in the chamber too, so it was 34. Blah, 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 blah. On that one, I wasn't going so much for accuracy, even though it's pretty dang accurate. But I was just trying to see if it would fail to fire. Firing the um, 120, uh, 124 grain hollow points. Boom, 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 No fail to fire, right? So, yeah, normally when I fire, I like to use full metal jacket. They're half the price. But, man, you need to fire the hollow points, too. You need to fire the hollow points and make sure they're not going to jam on your ass. So that's what you're depending your life on. So anyways, there it is, the Glock 26. It's got iron sights from Ameriglow on here. Um, EPS carry, which fits totally flush on this gun. Totally flush. They say it's more for like the slim line, like the 43X, 43, 48. But it's going to overhang on those, I know, because how can it not? Right? See how much thinner that gun is? Is it going to over? Most people on these are putting on the regular EPS because that's what they're told. And when they read, they say what it's for. And this is more of a full size slide. It's a little shorter than the 19, but it is just as fat. And I'm telling you, go with the EPS carry because it fits totally flush on there. I don't know how well you can see it on there. It's totally flush, totally flush. The other thing that's great about the EPS carry, um, or just the EPS, is this is the battery comes out the side. So you don't have to break your Loctite to get it out of there and rechange the battery. It's also got a solar panel on the MRSs. That's pretty cool, right? So there's a good backup right there. But still, here's what I like about this way better than the SCS that's on my 19. This has Shake Awake, and I've tried it. It's great. When this gun just it barely touch it, too. I've got Shake Awake on a uh, on a Swamp Fox Sentinel on my, on my G48, and you got to shake that thing like you're shaking a baby, right? And you get it to come on. Um, but you know, it's not wearing down the battery, but still, I don't want it to go oh, like this, this right here, you like touch the gun. So it's like, what I do is I'll like, it'll be laying down and I'll put my head down there and I look and I can't see it. I can't see it. And then I'll like tap the table, boom, and then it turns on. So that's conserving that battery the whole time. Plus it's got the solar, plus it's totally enclosed, right? The emitter. So mud's not going to get in there. All you have to do is wipe this off, wipe that off. You're not going to get mud trapped on there. Not that you're mud fighting with your guns much. But like I say, it's got the low profile. Also, the SCS is longer. And so with the MOSs, since the uh, beaver tail, I'm not beaver tail, the dovetail, whatever you call this, the backside like this, on the MOSs, they sit further back. So if I put an SCS on this one, um, it would get really too close. So right there. So 
This is more stubby. This is perfect for this gun. I almost want to go sell my Glock 19, get rid of the SES, or get rid of the SES and and put the uh I'll probably get rid of it and just get a regular Glock 19 and get it milled. That's probably what I'll end up doing. I get it milled and I'll put a hollow sun on it, like a 507 or 407, whichever one's the smaller one that'll fit flush, which I think is even smaller than this. That's what Ryan at Maple Leaf Firearms told me. I'll ask him what to do because he's done a lot of them. So he was telling me what to put on this, uh, but I'm not going to put anything on it, right? So anyways, y'all have a wonderful day, great evening or whatever it may be.